opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. e6 creates an opening for the dark squared bishop and opens a new diagonal for the queen. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This prepares the bishop for development. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. That's fine. It is good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is good. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is good. This misses a better way to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? It is a miss. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a miss. The game was close to equal, but now black has the advantage. It is a miss. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only move that works. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a great move. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. There was only one good move there. This ignores a better way to pin a knight to the king. It is a mistake. A solid choice. It is excellent. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. It is best. This allows the opponent to pin a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. One of the best moves. It is excellent. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This loses material. It is a mistake. Recaptures. It is best. This wins a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This breaks a pin, enabling a knight to provide needed defense. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a miss. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This forks multiple pieces. It is best. This defends a bishop that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. 
capturing that rook wins material. It is best. Takes back. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to take an outpost with the knight. It is best. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the bishop cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. This threatens to fork pieces. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is a great move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to defend a bishop that was under attack. It is a mistake. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. This threatens to win material. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is a fair move. It is good. This protects the attack pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This ignores a better way to move a rook to safety. It is a mistake. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The game was close to balanced, but now white is worse. It is a mistake. This misses a better way to move a rook to safety. It is a miss. This moves the knight to safety. It is best.